bizarre alien of the deep is a blue-ringed octopus, ready to be born. There are over 200 different octopus species found worldwide, and they all start life as orphans, with the role of the mother extending only as far as caring for her eggs. Once they hatch, the mother dies, and the baby octopi spend their lives alone. All they have are their instincts and an incredible ability to learn. But octopi are thought to be the most intelligent invertebrates in the sea. And with soft, flexible bodies that offer no protection, it's this intelligence that keeps them alive. But it's not confined to the brain. Two-thirds of the animal's neurons are located in their eight sucker-covered arms. They're an octopus's most important feature, used for pretty much everything. From capturing prey to locomotion, the arms act with almost absolute autonomy. It's the only way for the octopus to control so many highly flexible limbs. And it's just as successful in the wild. A lobster pot is designed for easy access, but once inside, you're trapped. At least that's the idea for lobsters. For this ultra-flexible bag of brains, it's simply an attractively packaged meal. Squeezing in and out of tight spaces is no problem for an animal whose arms can literally act on their own. or a cephalopod, you need to really understand how to use your surroundings to hide. In the next scene, you're going to see a nice coral bottom, and you see that an octopus would stand out very easily there if you couldn't use your camouflage, use your skin to change color and texture. Here's some algae in the foreground, and an octopus. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Now, Roger spooked him, so he took off, a cloud of ink, lands, and when he lands, the octopus says, look, I've been seen, best thing to do is get as big as I can get. That big brown makes his eye spot very big. So he's bluffing. Let's do it backwards. I thought he was joking when he first showed it to me. I thought it was all graphics. So here, here it is in reverse. Watch the skin color. Watch the skin texture. Just an amazing animal. Can change color and texture to match the surroundings. Watch him blend right into this algae. One, two, three. <laughs> And now he's gone and so am I. Thank you very much.
cicadas in the eastern United States spend 17 whole years below ground, sucking sap from tree roots, and then, within a few days, a whole population emerges. There may be millions of them in a single acre of land. They clamber up the trees whose roots have provided them with sap for all of those 17 years. And here they change into their adult costume. they have the wings they need to search for.
sized and a bit wobbly on their eight legs, but otherwise equipped with a perfectly working body. Hundreds of tiny hatchlings have to find their way to the exit, and Mum finally gets a break. But a high mortality rate means only one in ten of these spiderlings will survive. But where to go from here? Instinctively, the little marchers follow the freshly laid silk to a resting spot in the nursery. The darker it is, the safer it feels. But what makes a tarantula a tarantula? Fact is, they're the oldest spiders on the planet and have venomous fangs to rival many snakes. To scientists, they're known as the primitive spiders of the family Therophysidae. And they all have a unique combination of five characteristics. Number one, they are very hairy. Number two, at the ends of their eight long legs, they have dense hair pads and retractable claws like a cat. Number three, their spinnerets are extremely long and shaped like fingers. Number four, they have hundreds of black studs around their mouth parts. Scientists call them cuspules and they're used to crush food. And number five, they have no fewer than eight eyes in rectangular position, but remain almost blind. While other spiders might own one or two of these, only tarantulas have all five. 